Industrial Revolutions. Brought to you by Dassault System, the 3D experience company. Britain's agricultural revolution introduced crop rotation and other tools. The mechanisation of tilling and ploughing improved farm work, requiring less labour. The green revolution was sparked by the use of synthetic pesticides and fertilisers, increasing yields. Later, genetically modified foods were developed for disease resistance and greater productivity. With a rapidly increasing population, food security remains a hot topic. It's really critical as we move forward uh, towards 2050 to be able to feed the world with less energy, less pesticides, less fertilizer, and do so in a way that sustains the planet. Biotechnology and genetically modified seed technology is one particular way to address a need for greater yields. If we can get more agricultural output per unit of input increased globally to keep up with the demand for food, we're going to be on the right track. We are looking forward the next 20 to 30 years to some new innovations, particularly in various forms of seed technologies that can help smallholder farmers in the developing world. Another approach is holistic management, a process where livestock are bunched and periodically moved to mimic grazing herds. This prevents overgrazing while ensuring soil is covered with dung and mulch. We are producing far more eroding soil than we are food, something like four tons per person per year. If we can start getting a much higher percentage of the soil covered throughout the year, then the rainfall starts becoming fully effective. And of course, the grasses, shrubs, trees, wildlife, livestock, everything starts becoming more productive. The results are seen within the first year financially and in terms of the land beginning to recover. Reversing desertification under greatly increased numbers of animals is going to offer more hope than anything I can imagine for feeding people in the future. Industrial Revolutions. Brought to you by Dassault System, the 3D experience company.